again, uh, the, the last time, the last week, we already discussed the basics of soil, plant, soil, and water relations, no? So we will continue that uh, this afternoon uh, for our uh, second lecture. So, uh, but basically, no, uh, we will be in depth on the basic of soil and water relations. No, kanang uh, last week eh, more on the terminologies man tato. Karon we will go deeper into uh, what are the relationships between the base, uh, the soil and water, as well as the vice versa water and soil no sa ilang uh, what are the important things that we need to to take note we need to learn as part of the preparation for the uh, soil and water management no because in the soil and water management or uh, soil and water conservation engineering it's a different story na no so he here in we need to to learn first the basics of uh, soil and water before punta mo, mo ambak into application. So when we say application, it's the irrigation, it's the drainage, no? it's the groundwater resource, it's the uh, construction of canals, dams, and uh, uh, any any hydro water, uh, hydro and uh, aero nga mga uh, infrastructures. But we will really focus on the hydro, water only, water. no. So that's the aim of the irrigation and drainage engineering all right so the functions of soil moisture is in plant growth are important no so uh, basically on sagid man learn nato bisan sa gagmay pata we, we will always say uh, bubui ang ang tanum para mo, mo turok para mo dako mo, mo taas no the ingana magina we are plantito plantitas uh, basic basic lang dagina nga concept nga bisbisa no naman na sa mga sa mga binisaya bisbisa ninyo kay para ang tumama pamulakaw ayog kalimot gyud pag puan bisbisa mga bulak sa mga tanom no because uh, water basically is the the, the, the or, or plays uh, a vital role in uh, in terms of growth rate no kanang imposible na gid kaayo nga ang isa ka tanom labi nag nasa sulod sa balay wala na bisbisan wala presence sunlight nga mo musulig siya or healthy siya because uh, water is the vital uh, or fundamental in terms of the growth sa tanum no so excessive volumes of water in soils retard or inhibit plant growth uh, sa bisaya we will always say or even in english we we, we say too much is bad no kanang what what is uh, required more na imo kung sa inyo sa pag-eskwela tres ra may kinahanglan sir so tres ra among i-achieve sa tanum whatever the required nga dili ma-inhibit or ma-retard ang iyang growth mora pud tuang atong i-supply so that is why uh, whatever the excess it na, it must be uh, uh, drained no so sa irrigation and drainage opposite sa irrigation o si drainage sa irrigation mag-irrigate ka mag-supply si drainage mag-remove no so pag excess na di na siya maayo it might inhibit or it might retard or it might uh, affect negatively the growth uh, characteristics of plants no so irrigation is also a means of preventing the occurrence of water lagging of soils when we say water lagging kanang uh, example yuta no yuta is imagine nimo sa isa ka tamnanan sa isa ka area na ay part nga basa na ay part nga grabe ka dry tingala ko nga diri lagi kay basa no na makita gid ka nga watery taas ang yang moisture content diri lagi kay uga da ang ang epekto ang tanom ani nga part po diri a tag as ang diri wala ni sulig no because there might be water clogging kung may water clogging concentrated dito nga area ang tubig no kung na irrigation pag supply ni mo tubig ana mag irrigate ka ma makuan niya ma control niya meaning ma distribute niya kay katong nag clog dito due to sa supply sa tubig bungkal to niya gamay manumano hinay hinay and then it will move out move out and then ma distribute na hinon siya so it will really uh, prevent the water clogging no or uh, in other terms kung ingon po tag water clogging kanang in particular area guys kung nabitaw tay like uh, isa ka area or plantation that part nag too big no murag naay mga saba-saba ginagmay naay mga uh, naay mga ginagmay nga murag kanal-kanal anya nagpundo dito ang tubig nag clog another story pud nga clogging and then if na irrigation supply kag tubig 
mapuno tong klaging dito nga na or sa pasapa nga ginagmay, mo distribute to siya sa ubad. So, it will prevent water clogging. No? It will really prevent water clogging and irrigation. So, when we say soil structure, soil structure refers uh, to the arrangement of individual soil particles into units or pods. No? Kanang, uh, kung may kontag structure sa kanang uh, structure, nga kanang basic term na to sa instru- structure, kung may kontag structure, the composition of that particular material will be termed as structure. So, sa soil, what makes it as a soil, that's its structure. No? So, sa structure, it's either compact, loosened, or made of organic. No? Karang, sir, yun sa man pagbuhat ang, ang yuta, sir, nga nung di magkita mahugtot na yuta due to the degradation of living and uh, living uh, living materials or uh, kanang mga insects, kanang mga wati, no? pag mga matay na sila, they will perform into a soil. So, di kita mahutdan. So, it's uh, compact or soil in organic matter. Alright? So, natin gitawag na types no? or kinds sa uh, soil according to their structure. So, na'y granular, na'y blocky, na'y prismatic, na'apoy uh, columnar, na'apoy platy, or uh, the, the term is as platy, same rin na sila, platy or platy, from the term plate or pla uh, kanang uh, nipis no uh, napunta kita wag single or grain no so kung ingon ta granular granular from the term granules no mura siya tibugol tibugol no uh, crumbs mura siya nay crumbles no so less than 0.5 cm in diameter sometimes others will classify uh, rocks kana mga rocks nga nga tibugol tibugol or nagagmay gagmay as part of the granulars but they are really resembles made of a soil nang maragay gahi ka mante ka nang naipangpang makakita ka sa inyong lugar naipangpang and then kanang pangpang pang mga hulugan niya yutaan na magkakangkuan na maklasify na niya into according to kuan kung pino murag mahuna siya mura na siya ag sand kung dagko kung ilabay ni mo sa inyong mga amigo sa inyong friend makakita gigag dagko no that's part of the granular nga kanang kuan type sa soil Kung blocky, irregular lang ng blocky. Usually, ang blocky nga mga klase sa yuta is kanang hulma siya due to cracking. Kanang for example, grabe ang il ninyo, grabe ka drought, gid ka ayun, no, ang basakan. Kung imo ng kabutan di haa, dilit na po granular ang naong ana, blocky na ang naong ana. Ilabay ni mo ana, makapatay na sa tao, ang iyang ulo, labayo ni mo ana, sa kagahi niya. No, from the term block, no, blocky gahi no so prismatic ang mga prismatic po usually form due to the irregularities of moisture for example kana nga area diha uh, higher ang elevation so kung higher ang elevation usually murag scarce gyud ang irrigation diha ano so ang ang tendency diha uh, pagpaspas ang ulan paspas ang ulan paspas pud ang pagsunop no ang iyang uh, moisture intake pag mo dry na po na siya kay init initan dagko kayo ang iyang hawang no hawang niya kung imo na siyang kabuton diha ah, magkabot ka magpala ka magpala nimo makakita ka mga prismatic nga mga yuta ang gnaom no nga man it's due to the uh, effect kay naman siya higher elevation siya o niya lower portions ang uh, horizons ang iyang kanang si tawag ani uh, lower horizons or lower ang iyang uh, uh, sana sa bisaya kanang bungkal Okay? So, when we say columnar, when we say columnar, guys, so columnar, ang columnar, similar na sila sa prismatic. No? Dili na kayo na ito ni mapansin kay naanan na sila sa ilalong mga mga parts. Unless if ka ng mga pang-pang bitaw, ka ng mga uh, slopey areas, makita ni mo na siya ang classification na niya. Magtanaw lang ka sa ibabaw, uh, pinakataas sa pang-pang, makita ni mo nga nagi dito ang mga tibukol. Kaya kung ang sa taas bitaw na dito ang mga sandy nga type sa yuta, dali ragid kayo na siya ma- hagnas. Mga nang makabantay ka na dito ang mga tibugol sa taas, pinakaibabaw ng level. Pero sa ubos, medyo loosen na ang iyang uh, level. Magbiyahi ka ka ng from, from Ampayon to Sibagat ka na. Silib-siliba na ka ng magbiyahi ka ka ng mga pang-pangadag ko ito kay Dihatan Awa. Makita ni mo that uh, ang ilalong hinuuna dito ang mga uniform or ka ng mga pinong na klase sa yuta. Pero sa pinakataas na dito ang mga tibugol na makakita ni mo mga blocky. Because it's really unusual nga ang mga ang mga pino nga klase sa yuta nasa taas. It will really prone to kanang landslide. 
pag-ulan lang ana diretso na dayon ko and that's why bisan pag magbagyo mag-ulan dili kay nga na ka paspas ang landslide uh, dili kay nga naka prone ang degradation sa soil sa sibagat due to kanang unique composition or arrangement sa yuta so yung na siya ka amazing no ang ang kanang kanang uh, pagbuot sa Ginoo nga ang anak pud ang iyang porma no nang mga balay na lagi hapon sa ubos unless if grabe na gid kapaspas ang ulan it will take 1 to 2 weeks kana dinagid na malikayan okay so single grain kadto na tong mga pino na kadto mga kung mag, makabantay ka mo silib gid to amo naog ka nagi didto yung mga hagnas minum ginagmay nagi na mahagnas guys ginagmay kadto mga grain na to ang mahagnas no so ingana siya ka amazing ang ang structure pud sa yuta ani mga plating nga yuta Usually kuan man siya, naman isa kanang mga disturb. When we say disturb ng mga land areas kanang mga basakan, no? Mga tamnanan o gulay, plate ang iya ana nga anuman, permi man siya mabungkal. So pag bungkal ana niya, and then ma-create na po siya another nga kanang mura environment. Pag harvest nimo, pag imo tong kabutan, plate ra ang naong atong mga yuta didto, ano? Dili siya ingana ka kuan nga magtibugol gyud no so plate ra na iyang naong di ayos wali or some others nga makita nimo ya na pud siya sa mga pampang sa mga dikes usually pero very rare nga makakita ka plate kay usually ang plate kadto no mga disturb gayo no so di pud kakakita sa mga disturb areas nga maka, makakita ka prismatic kakita pud ka og blacky kay it's very rare unless if ni agi gid na drought no so drought can really a uh, form Uh, a land or soil into a different na uh, structure always remember that all right so when we say favorable soil from the term favorable uh it's not easy to identify soil as it's favorable or not when we say favorable uh applicable ba siya no, for that particular crop so but but favorable soil structures will uh are are, are already identified or recognized by the soil scientists as the key to soil fertility no kana mo ingon kag ah, okay blocky blocky type of stru- uh, blocky structure of soils are good for falcata because it will uh, help the roots of the falcata or the stems of the falcata to to grow faster no or uh, uh, grindy or sandy material uh, si- soil is good for uh, abaca and kanangkuan because it will retain moisture so it depends on the classification of soil pod ang atong yuta manong maingon sila nga mao nang wa ani diha bay ang inyong basakan nga numan tibugol man ang imong yuta diha ang imong yuta diha bisan pag unsaon imong irrigate paspas ang sunop paspas pod ang paguga tungod kay grabe ang imong yuta ka blacky once blacky ang yuta dagko ang pores kung makabantay ka dagko ang iyang tibugol pero dagko pod ang hawang so paspas ang pagsunop sa too big. So, bisan pa kung irrigate, it will really affect still the uh, moisture uh, retention sa imong yuta. No? So, mauna mo ingon nga nag, nag last air ang mga agi na imong humay o amay kuan, bisa sigira kag irrigate because of the soil structure. So, as agricultural and biosystems engineers, we should be familiar with that. No? Okay. When we are in the field, when we are working in the field or we are practicing our profession uh, privately, mag-manage ka sa imong basakan, ikaw mismo aware ka nga naging ni problema ang akong yuta. Kung saan naman lang, kung sa atong irrigation and drainage engineering, magsige na lang tagway klase na mag-graduate mo nga, huwagin mo yung nahibalaan sa soil water plant relations. No? So basically, that's the most important things that we need to learn. No? So di ko gusto nga, mag-graduate lang nga ka ng, wala lang, wala, even the relationship between plant. That's why it's plant, water, and soil relations kay Ang ako lagi diring basakan kay walay irrigate irrigate pero dagko og ani pareho ra tag variety sa yuta. Oh. Another area, pareho tag variety sa sa not, not variety sa yuta, variety sa tanong. <clears throat> pareho lagi ta og kuan, 120 lagi ang atong variety sa sa humay pero wala koy ani, wala koy insekto. Unsa ka no? So as ABE practitioner, so you should know that There must be a problem in between the the irrigation or the soil moisture retention of your uh, soil or the soil itself what are the available nutrients uh because the variety that you use are the same so it might be your practices or your uh, maintenance or there, there's really a problem with the soil nutrients or soil structure so kabalo ka 
no so that's really the the reality or the the implication so when we say permeability of soils to water air and roots are as adequate supplies of nutrients so uh, and it's another story because permeability it's like the ability from the term perm and then ability it's the ability of the soil to retain no to 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 uh, accept water into the level going to the ground level no ground uh, level because when we reach the topics groundwater makita nato nga anong anong sunupon man niya nga we are we all know that there is a moist out in under underground namong ginay tubig underground but we you do not know that there's also a level kung asa taman tong naay saturation that's why kung mag-irrigate ka sunupon gyapon ani hangtod nga masaturate siya hangtod nga maabot siya didto so permeability of soils to water or air is like kanang murag the ability of uh the ability nga kanang murag i, i na retention kanus asiya kadang makolek nga diha ra siya taman that's why kung ang yuta grabe gid og structure grabe pud og kanang kanang grabe ka drought mahurot na lang nang imong tubil sa imong pag-irrigate diha sa imong kanang makina di pagid na siya mo sustain mahibal-an lang nimo kung masustain na siya kung di na siya mo sunop di na siya mo hunas no naara gid ang worry sa tubig so we have to learn that no we have to learn the basics of that so when we say soil texture Kung food, the food has its, its specific texture. No texture is like the quality in terms of, ah, uh, sama sa ako na mention before. If imo siyang gunitan from the term text, no text, how 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 it feels when you when you touch, when you taste, or when you, ah, uh, kanang murag sense nato of uh, touch. Imo siyang gunitan. Unsa niya lapot, unsa siya gahi, unsa siya humuk. So uh foods also have the same class uh, kanang characteristics with i uh, not the same characteristics in terms of characterization the same ang properties nga sub atong uh, measure sa soil and sa foods uh, ang nakalahi lang ang soil is uh once ma degrade si soil mo form siya into another si food man good for example kung imo siyang i, i feast a feast si si food example carne mo siyang anaon kusugon mo mukuan lang na siya mo form into lata pero mo balik to, to original size sa gihapon niya madugay no and uh, ang mga prutas kung imo siyang anaon ma tusok lang siya pero the same ra niyang now pero matusok siya si, si soil kung imo siyang i twist twist gyud mo form siya into another so from being a blocky it will form into a sandy so that's the characteristics for the soil nga dili siya ma classify similar to the classification or characterization of foods no si soil na siya ay texture according to its measurement. So, kung imo na siyang granuhon, klasik-klasik po nang magrano ni mo. Unless, if imo gidiyang dutan gid yung pagpino gid, pinupinuhon ni mo para pariho gid sila nga mahimo siyang clay. So, that's why the texture classification of soil is being defined into very coarse sand, very fine sand, silt, and clay. And when, which we already mentioned uh, last week sa atong meeting, right? So, sa ang iyang classification. So, in, 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 in uh, addition, the soil texture has a very important influence on the flow of soil water, circulation of air, and the rate of chemical transformations. Ako na lang na-mention ganina, for example, blocky versus sanding soil. Mag-irrigate ka, ah, ang, area ni, ang area ni Blanco sa iyang basakan is blocky. Blocky due to drought, no? Kanang tibul-tibul ang iyang yuta. But the area of Zoer sa iyang yuta is sandy. When you irrigate, there's a difference Bahala, bisan pag same mug area, same mug area like as as in like 10 by 10, 100 square meter, the same. And then same mo of power uh, rate or irrigation uh, rate na nag-flow mo. For example, 200 liters per minute, no? Ang inyong flow sa inyong tubig. And then same pod mo of design sa irrigation canal, same mo of material. It's either you are using pipe and then you are using pipe. Same size sa pipe, same size sa pipe. But there's really a difference between the effect or the uh, the flow of water in beneath the soil. Ano man, nailahin man mag-soil structure. No? So, not necessarily nga mahuman da yun si masunok na da yun tutanan ang kang jewels after pipila ka hours. Same sa hours ni kang uh, Blanco. Because uh, you really uh, share not uh, you really share different nga soil structures in yung area. So, that's the implication. Even the effect of hangin, no, kanang may musulod at porosity, no, so si hangin isa po siya nga mo-add up sa pores, no, but uh, it it has something to do with the the water 
addition and the, the air na addition no so even the changes on the chemicals and nutrients lahi ang nutrients nga ma sustain or ma retain ni ni clay o ni sandy lahi pod ang kang blacky o kang poan plating na soil so you have to be uh, you have to be uh, careful of that because uh, you have to be to learn you have to learn that because it's basics on the soil and uh, water relations right so always remember that so next is porosity when we say porosity as i have mentioned uh, last week so porosity is like for example this is the whole uh, uh, this is the whole uh, Uh, material so let's not settle to soil para dali ninyo masabtan na kay whole, whole na material that whole material consider as whole as buo no so it's the book it's the book or it's the book volume of that uh, material so say for example but inside nga wala nimo nahibal-an na di siya something uh, uh, hollow inside that's something to be the void spaces no so i know that you are familiar because you are you already done with the soil science engineering but uh let's say no let's not settle sa, sa soils para masabtan ninyo butong or lubi si butong or si lubi when you calculate lubi as a whole the book value of lubi as a whole is lubi but there's another composition inside what so ang bagol so lahi siya ang meat coconut meat lahi siya ang gi-compose pud ni sabaw lahi siya and then lahi pag sa bunot no so if you calculate that separately you will get what's the apparent no what makes it as a lubi and then what makes it as, as a whole no so when you separate si pak si pak uh, excuse me there's the book as a whole and then there's apparent or what makes it as in uh, in, in addition of uh, water and air so ing ana siya ang 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 pag pag sabot sa pors, uh, porosity no so you cannot say that the, the entire soil na kay soil nga gunitan imong timbangon mao na yang weight that's the weight of the soil no because there's a presence of air and there's a presence of water no so that's basically that's why uh, what's the best uh, the, what's the best way to measure the moisture of of uh, soil or food it's by oven drying why when we oven dry the material it will really remove totally the moist as a whole no kay kung mingon lang ka nga timbangon nako tantsahon nako pila ang tubig ana ah okay na kay material gitimbang nimo ang soil pag timbang nimo sa soil 1 kilogram gibutangan nimo og 0.2 m liters sa uh, tubig. So mo na din ka nga 1 kilogram pas 0.2 because lit, uh, point, uh, liter and kilogram is uh, the same no kung tubig man no. So 0.2 mahi mo na siyang 1.2 uh, kilogram ang imong weight no. You cannot say that because there might be an addition of water to that no. So as apparent no apparently mo ta as apparent there is a composition or addition of tubig and water and then what makes it as as a whole it's the book. Okay so inga na siya pagsabot para mas dali masabtan no same gid siya sa, sa same siya ang application sa sa soil so that's why when we define soil porosity it's the measure of the void okay void spaces in the material so void spaces in the materials or simply voids no what makes it in addition to its composition unsa tong mga uh, magunahuna ka so unsa tong mga nag nag nag, nag open spaces sa ilalom unsa pila ka tutanan that what makes it is a porous no so and it's a fraction of the volume of voids over the volume total volume so that's why uh, total volume divided by ano uh, volume of voids divided by volume total or the total as a whole times 100% it's your porosity Kedi man ka makaingon nga ang kabuhuan niya mao na gina iyang volume no you cannot say that there's something percentage of porous materials or void spaces inside that no so the percent of that the percent of that kuan pore spaces kedi man pud na isara pwede man na duha tulo upat lima so kana sila tanan imong i-combine and then what what makes it uh, what's the percentage of that in the whole sa iyang kabuuhan that's the porosity So si porosity is just like the sum of all the porous or all, all the void spaces in one material that makes it an additional composition sa material. Okay? So sabto na na ni Moing Ana siya ang pagkasabot. No? So dili po ningon nga nakakita kag isa ka void space that that makes or that uh, uh, represents the whole poro, porosity. No? 
daghan na sila no unless if specified yun nga maoray gid na isa ka buok diha and then mao nay iyang and mao nay uh, mao nay iyang volume pod so do dili uh, or we can also calculate porosity as uh, in terms of uh, 100% or 1 and then imo siyang minus on sa the the the, the 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 ratio between the book and the particle why because it's really uh, it's really true that the, the the particle the when we say particle yang itself no itself is really greater than the book why because uh, the book is just the uh, addition of all the pores nga nakakam up siya nga mga pores sila no so particle is katong material no so for example kanang uh, naakay kanang uh, uh, kato akong example lubi so sa lubi what makes it a lubi as a particle is lubi pero unsa to mas dako gyud si lubi as a whole kung uh, kumpara sa katong mga buno uh, bunot kumpara sa weight sa katong bagol or katong sa meat nga naa sa iya availability so uh, do not divert your mind into lubi because I'm, we are talking here of soil but that's basically the best example na da, ang kabuuan mas dako gyud na siya no kaysa sa katong composition niya so not just to lubi not just to soil but to all no that's that's how we also measure the uh, porosity or the porous uh, what that makes it book Okay, so I minus lang ni mga yung ratio because it's always you will always get less than one man, no? Okay, uh, for example, ang imong weight sa uh, percentage or weight sa imong uh, book na matter is 0.5 and then the the kwan is uh, 0.9 or one, so uh, the percentage is still lower than one or 100 percent, so you can still get the porosity value. Okay, where P is density, no? So in terms of density lang siya, density lang nato. So, ah, uh, dili siya weight. Kaya kung mayon ka weight, timbang lang ang imong ikuha. Kung mayon ka dense, ah, uh, uh, weight in terms of its volume, di ba? Okay. So si density, kailan naman taan ni? Eh? You're you're done with your fluids. You're done with your statics, dynamics, and etc. Density is just the mass of the material over the mass of water so we we always reap uh, uh water will always be our reference when we measure the density of a material why because uh, uh water is a standard as like uh, kung naagid ka ing ana na kilogram naagid ka isa ka cubic meter sa tubig naagid na siya ay 1000 kilogram no always that no because uh that's how dense water is no so uh, other material must be referred to the density of water to, to, to make it uh, as standard as it is no so uh mass per unit volume but in terms of uh total volume okay so in terms of total volume it's the dry weight of soil when we oven dried at 105 degrees for 24 hours for your information the 105 degrees uh uh celsius drying temperature is the standard it follows the international standard or the aoac standard i forgot the correct term but it seems like the association of chemi chemists or chemical uh uh chemists in the in the world oh, so it says it's an association of uh, uh chemists or uh, scientists just to standardize how the moisture uh, reduction or dry matter content of the particular material uh will be measured no so within 24 hours imo na siyang ang soil na kay soil sample imo na siyang i-dry using the laboratory oven or oven uh, uh lab oven for 24 hours pila i-weight i- initial sa nimo na siya example na kay 1 kg nga soil after 24 hours for 105 degrees na himo na lang siya og 0.2 kg then uh 1 minus 0.2 kg divided by pila 0.2 kg that's your uh, dry matter or in terms of moisture content in terms of uh, dry bases. So later we will talk about that. So that's basically the uh, moisture. But let's go back again to this. So natay gitawag nga true density of particle density. So when we say true density, it's the dry weight of soil after nato siya gi dried for 24 hours, 0. 0.2 divided by the book volume. So unsa man si book volume? Pila po to ang composition niya dito ang uh, nag-add up sa iyang pore nga material. But we cannot define that as it is as long as dilit na to siya ma 
matimbang or nato siya ma-measure. So, si particle density is just the dry weight of soil after kuan and then the volume of soil. Pila po yung volume ni soil. No? So, when we see particle, it's the whole as a soil and then when we see uh, true density, it's the katurag yung iyang composition sa, sa porous. No? Sa katong pila to sila ka void spaces and then pila ito yung equivalent. So, ingana rin yung pagtimaan para dili mo maglibog. Or light. Ipaday na to sa clear na version later. For the specific gravity, kung may ngunit specific gravity, it's the density of the material divided by the uh, density of water. Uh, to, uh, it's unitless now. Why? Because the density of water, again, is the standard na po, the reference, para to make it uh, uh, standardized ang iyang pamaagi. Because si water, uh, natin gitawag na, uh, I'm not sure if it's a less dense or uh, neutral din si tubig nga whatever nga imong ibutang kang tubig it's either mo lutaw or it's either nga mo float no i know it's either mo float or it's either mo kanang mo uh, pailalom siya mo sunob siya sa tubig so that's why water becomes the standard when it comes to the specific gravity why mo na moingon ka nga kung mo yabog ang oil sa tubig mo lutaw ra si oil pero kung magyabogan ni ka og kanang juice sa tubig mo unload si juice because there's something uh, explanation about that on why the water becomes a standard when it comes to uh, specific gravity no because when you mix no musulod na po dahin diha as rheology because there's something with rheology and specific gravity sa isa ka food material so a specific gravity is just the density of what uh, density of material divided by the density of water right so basically density of water is 1000 kg per cubic meter or 1,000 gram per cc or cubic centimeter. 1 gram per cc or 1 gram per centimeter. So, si apparent specific gravity can be also uh, denoted as the true density divided by density of water. Why? It becomes true density because it's the density of the material that you are using or you are testing. No, So, there's still something with the... Uh, true density or kung, may, kung ako'y paistoryahon na na, mura siya density ni particle or density ni material divided by density of water. So, same ra na siya nga aspeto. So, kung may mga patag real specific gravity, uh, mao na siya nga kung gi, gi pasabot ganina nga nga uh, particle. Pero, si particle manggod, kabuuan, kung may nga si apparent specific gravity is the density of particle or material divided by the density of water, mo mo sango na punta pag abot sa real specific gravity why si real good si real specific gravity katong tinuod gyud niya nga specific gravity because somehow for example si oil no si si, si soil si soil wala di man gina siya soil as a buo na man ay organic matter na pamana siya ay void spaces na pamana siya ay air nga nagcontent so magamit lang nimo siya nga real kung particle na gyud si soil na gyud nga sandi ang imong gigamit so it becomes real specific gravity so the density of soil nga tinuod or particle divided by the density of water that's why si apparent katong gipangingon ako sa imo katong mga void spaces air or water dito pa si apparent di pa di pa ka sure sa apparent what makes it void or what makes it porous motong na diha sa apparent no so always remember that dali naman siya subtone kung ikaw lang mismo na na kay mga techniques how will you clearly identify the terminologies okay so mo balik ta sa soil moisture sama sa akong gingon ganina dry ka 1 kg after imo siyang i-dry initial that's your initial mass or initial weight so after that I dry ni mo for 24 hours under 105 degrees Celsius lab oven temperature because it's the standard following the AOAC. No, I I I guess it was started or implemented in 2016. So the dry basis is just the weight of moisture divided by the dry weight of soil. What do you mean by weight of moisture? No, what do you mean by weight of moisture? So kung may ka weight of moisture, it's the fresh weight minus the oven dried weight. So one minus 0.2 pila di ayang imong uh, uh, weight of moisture so 0.8 no meaning out of 1 kg after drying na himo siyang 0.2 meaning 0.8 di ayang water ato so si 0.8 divided by uh, again uh, 0.2 no uh, am i right uh, did you still follow sa ako bisan nag conceptualize rata ta naka-follow mo na nagdry ta og 1 kg 
uh, blanco, 1 kg atong gidry, so that's the initial weight. Later, not mga sample problems, but let's let's conceptualize now the, the, the theory behind para dali masabtan. Sige, uh, blanco, not 1 kg nga soil. But that 1 kg is it's 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 the uh, not the particle, it's the book and the whole soil. Wapata ka balo pila ang tubig hangin ana, no? Ang naka advantage lang yun ni lab oven drying kay both the water and the air tanggalo niya sa soil. Okay, na gets niyo akong point? Yes, sir. Point. Okay, so so kung naka yuta, isa ka kilo ang yuta, gikuha ni mo somewhere down the road. Dalhaw ni mo sa laboratory oven kay imong i-dry and I know you are familiar with that maybe during your soil science before you are done doing that dalhaw ni mo di ka sure unsa gid na na pay organic matter ana na itubig na mga laway na mga ihi whatever available on that soil so do not call that as the true soil or the particle itself because it's not the particle at, at all particle lang na ako masiparate ni mo si soil from the moisture from the air from uh, organic matter and whatever no but after drying, no, do not call it a true soil as a particle soil. Okay, it's not. It's not really. It's composed of a lot of uh, things. After drying, na dried na ni siya. Once dried, that's the that's now the particle nga na mapatawag ni siya nga particle because remove na ang tubig, remove na ang air, pero wala agad na remove ang organic matter. Kaya madry ra mo organic matter. At least, you know, that the presence of water in your 1 kilogram is 0.8 di. No? From 1 kilogram, uh, 0.2 na lang ang nabilin, then the particle is 0.2 na lang di ay. And then 0.8 was composed of water and air. Okay? So, uh, another story na po, gumuingon dahi ka nga, oh, sa 0.2, kay yuta man na, sandi man ano, na na po'y hangin ana. Yeah, na hangin after igawas na ni mo siya sa oven. Magdugang na po si hangin dito. But let's settle to after drying naman. No? Philosophical naman po tumuingon nga, na na po na hangin, kay nigawas naman ni mo sa oven, might have. But let's settle nga mao nagid ni siya. Anyway, wala may wala man kay lain purpose kundi kuhaon na gid mo si moisture. Ang imong yung kalaban for me is si moisture. Okay. So, the weight of moisture, it's the weight of moisture ha, not the moisture content, no? Lahi si moisture content sa weight of moisture. Kung ingon kag weight, timbang value ni moisture sa imong material. So, 0.8 di, no? Dili kay 1 minus 0.2, 0.8 ang imong value di ay sa weight of moisture 0.8 or 1 minus 2 dili kay mo ingon ka nga moisture content no dili pa because when we say moisture content it is the relationship between it's either the dry weight basis basis or the wet basis that's the moisture content others would say is the dry matter content no okay 1 minus 0.2 is 0.8 that's the weight of moisture right that's the weight of moisture you can also say that the weight of soil or particle is 0.2. Pwede na ka mo ingon because it's already dried. That's the weight of soil or particle. Okay? So the dry weight of soil or particle is 0.2. 1 minus 0.2 is 0.8. Divided by the, the dry weight of soil daw is 0.2. So 0.8 divided by 0.2 times uh, 100. No, so, so that's for the dry basis. For the wet basis... Uh, no, no. The dry, the, the dry weight of soil is 0.2. So for the wet basis, uh, weight of moisture, same. 1 minus 0.2 divided by fresh weight. Kung mayroon kang fresh weight, the 1 kilogram. Alright? Times 100. So ingan na ragod, uh, na-remember na ko during the review class sa among students last last uh, last week, uh, they can easily get the, kung ano, yun na sila technique. Dry weight, so divided by the dry weight. Uh, dry basis, dry weight. And then wet basis is just the fresh weight. No? So uh, that's how the the equation goes around. All right. So kung may kontak volume basis put guys, it's the volumetric moisture content. It's a different story. Why? It's the volume of moisture divided by the total volume. But how how can we measure the total volume? No. So uh, it's a different story because weight is different from volume, man. So volume ni mo magamit kag cylinder. No, for example, nagkuha kag yuta katong 1 kilo gisulod nimo graduated cylinder. Uy, niabot man siya og 0.8 liters, no? And then after drying, niabot na lang siya og 0.2 or 0.1 liters. So, uh, at least that's the volume, no? But do not equate volume as to the same with moisture because it's a different story, no? Always that remember that. 
All right. So, Moto, the depth of water, uh, it's another story again when we say depth of water present in the soil because uh, you cannot say that if the soil kay na, 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 natapok na, no? unless if untouch ang ground, untouch ang soil, tapakan ni mo na din tua o uh, for example, something material, pagtapak ni mo, for example, ball pen or ruler, pagtapak ni mo, itusok ni mo dito sa soil, makita ni mo, asara ang basa. So that's the depth of soil al- sa kantong, uh, ano, that's the so- depth of water on that particular soil. No? Pagtapak ni mo, ang natapakan na natusukan ni mo is, uh, shall we say, uh, 0.2 meter or uh, 20 centimeter, no? Uh, 200 centimeter or point, uh, shall we say, 20 centimeter na lang, tapak ng 20 centimeter. Pero ang um, basa dito uh, is 10 centimeter na dahil. So, mara to ang imong depth of water out of the 20 centimeter na depth of soil. So, it's another story na po siya. So, uh, uh, ang saong pagkuha sa de- depth present in the soil, it's the equivalent depth of water, okay? Equivalent depth of water in the soil at a given condition given as the MCV times D over 100. Meaning, the moisture uh, content uh, volume times depth of root zone divided by 100. So, imuna na siyang i-follow formula. So, ang 100 is uh, naset na na si 100 as constant due to uh, SI ng measurement. No? So, mag-follow kag centimeter dira. Ah. Alright? So, depth needed to increase the moisture content from initial value to final value. So, kung mo yung punta o depth needed to increase the moisture content from initial value to final value, ang imong gamiton is dn is equals to moisture content fi- final value minus moisture content initial value times the d or the depth of root zone. So, usually ang problems, you will be given depth of root zone and then depth uh, uh, moisture content nga final, makuha ni mo si moisture content initial. So, once makuha ni mo si moisture content initial, ma-solve na ni mo si uh, dn or the uh sa tawag ani depth nga needed so volume of irrigation water we can we can use the volume of irrigation water if wala ta kabalo nga mao ni imong area nya wa kabalo nga pila di ay ang volume sa tubig nga imong needed so ang imong kuhaon ana para mak, ang imong establish nga data para makuha ni mo si si uh, volume of water nga imong irrigate is dapat kuhaon sa nimo si area sa land no in hectares and then after that naka hectare na ka kuha na po dai nimo si kanang itawag na to nga uh, depth of water needed na mo increase ang moisture content for example uh, 10 cm pag rice so that's the depth of water na needed nimo pag rice ang imong rice field 10 cm na ang ilang standard ifalo nga depth of water and then you can use that as your standard and then you 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 used uh time uh, what what's uh how how many hours specific like 8 hours or 16 hours and then use the formula or equation qt equals to 28 adn so the 28 is again the constant when you used uh, uh liters for per second as a rate and then when you consider area as hectare so ayun na pakiglali sa equation basta kayang gamito ni mo hectare gani sa area you use 28 adn tapos ang ang depth needed ni mo naka centimeter all right so, once ang imong depth needed is naka centimeter, 10 centimeter, and then ang imong area naka hectare, then you use 28 ADN equation to get the volume of irrigation water needed for that particular area. Alright? So, ayan na pag But, if the volume of water to be applied para mo explore ang moisture content kay uh, from initial to final value, no, na naka initial, and then you want to take uh, pilang yung initial value, then you use ADN alone, and then ang imong volume po uh, no, no, no. Ang imong gamiton nga equation kung ang, ang, ang imong gusto mahibalaan, QT, and then you will not use liters per second, you will not use hectare as area. Ang gamiton ni mga units area is just M square, and then ang gamiton ni mga ka, nga, ka na, uh, depth needed is meters, delay centimeters, then use the basic equation as QT equals ADN. So, but, but, Depende na sa imo kung asa asa ka ganahan, mas ganahan man gid ko nga naka hectare sir, mas ganahan man gid ko nga naka liters per second ang iyang rate sir. Then you use the 28 ADN. But if gusto ka nga di i-complicate imong life, then use m squared as area and then uh, meters as depth and then 
you can also get the m cube per hour or just the SI unit of measurement. No? So it depends on you, but just the same. For example, a soil sample has a weight of 0.7 kilogram. No? So tingon siya na si soil sample daw na ay weight na 0.7 kilogram. No? And the volume was found to be 3.5 times 10 m cube after uh, uh, 3.5 times 10 negative 4 m cube. No? So when we say soil sample has a weight, what do you think of that? Is it the dried weight or it's a fresh weight? What do you think? Kumingontag, a soil sample has a weight of 0.7 kilogram. Unsa na dahil ang mukam sa inyong mind? Is it the dry weight or it's the fresh weight? Fresh weight. Fresh weight. Fresh weight unless if gi specify siya nga after drying, a uh, soil sample after drying with the weight, ana, no? So, na kay 0.75 kilogram na fresh weight, no? And uh, ang volume down yung soil, so, unsa man na siya nga boil, a volume? Is it the total volume or it's, it's, the, it's the dried or the particle volume? Total. Total, total volume. volume. Na kay 3.5 times 10 to the negative 4 m cube, no? And then, after drying daw, out the weight was reduced to 0.6, no? So, ang imong dried weight, becomes 0.6 kilogram. Now, what's the uh, uh, weight of moisture? My question now is, what is the weight of moisture? 0.1 kilogram. Oh, 0 0.1. So, dili itamuingon nga moisture content. No? Kung mingon man tag moisture content, good. Actually, pwede naman gamitin nga moingon din nga. Ang moisture content, ana, sir, kay 0.1 kilogram di ay, sir, ang tubig. Moisture content man, content sa tubig in Bisaya. But moisture content man good, it's the relationship or the ratio between it's on the dry basis or the wet basis. No? So it's wrong. Ang moisture content na na sir, kay may nuson kayo may nuson raman siya, 1.1 na na sir. In Bisaya, in vernacular, pwede na kayo moingon kay same raman na nga tubig. But we always refer if it's based on the wet or based on the dry. So that's moisture content. So ang correct term is just weight of moisture. No, so meaning the weight of moisture is equal to 0.1 kilogram. Okay, sa problem pa lang, yung yung ma identify na hinay. Then the particle, the specific gravity, ihatag na po niya. So, specific gravity ni particle is equal to uh, 2.6. No, determine the following pagkuha niya, ipakuha niya si moisture content, dry, wet, dry and wet basis, and then ipakuha po niya si dry density. No. And then, ipakuha niya si book density. Kung imong tanawon ang iyang given, gihatag na niya si specific gravity nga uh, particle. Meaning, para makuha na to si specific gravity, di ba, unsa lang si specific gravity? Specific gravity is the density of particle divided by the density of water, right? Meaning, na kay 2.6 sa... Wala pa tayo nagbutang sa solution, ha? Wala, dili pa tayo sa solution. Ato lang daan, tat, problema, tanawon ng problem. Meaning, gitagaan na daan ko niya o... 2.6 specific gravity para sa akong uh, uh, particle, no? meaning si 1,000 1, mana kilogram per cubic meter ang um, water, meaning makakuha ay unknown na ko si particle, meaning 1,000 times 0.6, 1,000 times 0.6, 2.6, meaning na ikaw 2,600 kilogram per cubic meter nga density sa akong particle. So, nakuha na din mo an another given siya nga makuha ni mo. Pero, lahi gandang niyang ipangayo. So, let's solve. Yun sa niya. So, sa sample 1, gihatag mo taging ano, no? So, natin given nga uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and then 3.5, and then 2.6 nga, specific gravity. Diba, niingon nga ang weight of moisture divided by dry weight of soil, that would be your uh, moisture content dry basis. Diba? So, uh, ma pila, 0.7 minus 0.6 times 1, uh, 0.7 times minus 0.6 minus 0.6, no? So, ang, ang, ang dry weight niya, kinahin mo mang 0.6. So, nandiyay kay dry basis nga, 16.7, 67. So, there's no question about that. Naglibog, wala. Wala. Okay, so, given yeah. naman tanan, no? So, ang pangayunan niya, si, maglisod ka kang wet basis. So, nana tayo dry basis. So, sige, sa wet basis na po, Ato na pong kuhaon si wet basis. So, si wet basis, the same ra. 0.7 minus 0.6 minus 0. Sa, divided by 0. 0.7. So, yun ra kaayo, 14.28. Another pagiging nga pangayuon niya is si particle density. no? Pero kabalot ha, nga nga hatag siyang specific gravity. no? 
So si specific gravity ni hatag siya og uh, 2.6 and din kabalo baya tanga ang formula baya sa specific gravity is the density of the particle divided by the density of water. So pwede na ito dritsuhon. No? Na 2.6 is equal to x over 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. No? So nana tayo 2,600 kilogram per cubic meter na density ni particle. Pero lahi po ng atake dire which is pwede po na ito makuha. Kay dry density man, particle density, pwede po din mo sa equation gamiton nga uh, mf on sa ganiyang f uh, mass of the fluid divided by the volume or uh, volume of the sa tawag ani uh, uh, volume sa tukod total volume no uh, particle volume divided by the total volume or bali uh, no no particle volume divided by the total volume i guess times 100 no so kung makakuha ka uh, pwede po din mo siya mass final no divided by the volume sa kanto nga particle sa yuta no pwede po siya nga gamito nimo so ang gigamit ni re ang kanto mass nga final or weight final after drying divided by the volume of the material so naada okay para sa particle nga density sa particle nga 1714.28 kg per cubic meter why because Dili ni mo ma-applicable si 2600 kay dili man makakabalo sa 2600 kung asa dito ah, ang soil. So dito na lang ka mo refer sa soil gid nga dried kay particle na to siya. Nagets, nagets akong point unless if ingon siya nga kabuhuan or whole or true nga particle uh, density no or true particle a uh, uh, particle density ang iyang gusto kay soil mangin ang iyang gusto nga makuha nimo so dito ka sa dried soil mo refer ayaw gid sa kabuhuan niya bisan pagtagaan kaniya og katong given ganina nga specific gravity sa imong particle because you do not know unsa patong naa dito sa imong material sa imong soil so si dried naman so pila gid to kang dried 0.6 magin ang kang dried kay nakuhaan man siya 0.1 0.1 naman day si moisture si si particle day nimo is 0.6 no kilogram divided by the volume no so that's the uh, particle density ni mo nga 1714.28 si true density is just uh, the initial divided by the volume kay tong tanan tanan pa sila no regardless if napay too big so 0.7 kilogram ang iyang initial nga weight para sa tanan divided by the volume ni mo so naday kay 2000 kilogram per cubic meter nga density para sa true. So it's that, that, that's easy. Unless otherwise if wala gid kaniya gihatagan og kanang mga uh, wala kaniya gihatagan for example og volume sa soil kung kung ingana pod ang may tabo guys nga di ka tagag volume sa soil just calculate kay moingon man na siya nga mauni ang length sa cylinder ni ingani ang iyang diameter unya sa kana nga length point one, one, one meter uh, for example uh, 0.5 meter nga length sa cylinder ani ang diameter kay 20 cm diameter niya. Pero ang nasudlan sa soil is uh, from the bottom is just 0 0.8 nga uh, 0 0.8 nga meter. Uh, 0.5 man to no ang length. Ang nasudlan sa soil sa cylinder is just 0 0.3. Meaning 0 0.3 ra ang imong gamiton nga length. So that, that would become the volume times the area sa imong cylinder. So ingana na, lali lagi guys siya. Basta imo lang da ang matamataho ni mo i-conceptualize ang mga, ang mga problem. Okay? So na address na nimo si true density og si particle density. Mao ra may yang gipangayo, no? So ganina, you cannot apply the automatic kay naay nga na labi na kadang mag-board exam ka nga feeling nimo nga mao na tama. I just want to tell you that the problem gives uh, an idea that uh, might be helpful as a, as a general and uh, unless if mo diretso siya pangutana diha nga what is the estimated uh, uh, density of the material. So automatic 2,600 kay ang density raman kay uh, just the uh, ang specific gravity is just the density of the material divided by the density of water so gitagaan na makak specific gravity nga 2.6 then 2.6 times 1,000 din na kay 2,600 nga kuan sa material but we are talking about the the, the true or the the density of the particle or none of the density the the yeah the, the uh, density of the particle kay ano man ang particle na to gitapik diri ah, katong soil alone raman nga na remove na ang water no so that's how you will attack the problem dili ka magdiretso diretso all right so let's uh, try another example for example 
uh, number two, a field sample prior to being disturbed has a volume of 80 centimeter cube. No, the sample weighed 120 kilo 120 grams. So that's your initial. Okay, that's your initial mass or initial weight, and then you have a volume of 80 centimeter cube. The sample weight uh, 120 grams. No, after drying at 105 degrees Celsius for 24 hours, the dry sample weighs 100 grams. Na lang, no, so naakay 20 grams nga kung saman. Kung saman ng 20 grams, 100 minus 120 minus 100. Unsa ang 20 grams? Weight sa moisture. Weight sa moisture, no? So, what is the mass water content dry basis? What is the volumetric water content, no? So, what is the depth that must be applied to increase the volumetric water content at the top one uh, top one foot of the soil to 30%, no? So, unsa ang pag-solve? So, moisture content dry basis is just 120 minus 100 divided by 120%. The moisture of water, the I, is 20 grams, no? Sama sa akong giingon. So, the moisture of water or the, uh, dry, uh, the weight of the moisture is just 20 grams. Therefore, uh, so, makuha ni mo si, o say, makuha ni mo diri, ah, volume sa, ah, makuha ni mo ang volume sa water. Why? Na naman kay uh, weight or uh, mass or weight sa tubig, no? So, ang pagkuha is just the mass of the water divided by sa volume sa water. Kung gusto niyo makuha ang density sa water. And then, ang density sa water, pila gani? 1,000 kg per cubic meter or 1,000, 1 gram per cc. And then, naman kay value nga moisture sa water na 20 grams. And then, makuha niyo automatically si volume of water. And then, you already achieved the question number 2. I know the, the, the required number 2. No, so, 20 cc. Nakuha ni? Anong letter B? So, ang density of water is just the mass of water divided by the volume of water. No? So, ang mass of water is 20 cc, 20 grams. And then, ang imong, ang imong density sa water is 1,000, 1 gram per cc ba ya? Or 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Then, you can easily get the volume of water. So, always remember the equation. Okay? Done? Makuha na dahil mo si volume of water. Kaya nga naman, ang volume of water is just the moisture content uh, volume equals to uh, volume of water divided by volume total. No? And then, nanabay kay value sa volume total na itong ganina. And then, uh, ang volume of water ni mo is uh, 20 cc man din. Makuha ni mo siya nga 25%. Okay? So, pila yung value na ito diri sa total volume. Pilay, pilay man. What do you think is our value here in sa total volume? Pila. Yan ni kamabtaw, 25%. 100. 100? 100? 100? Ang video volume na to kay 20 cc. 100 or 80? 80, sir. 80. 80 because 80. 80 is our total volume. When we say total volume, it is the kabuuan, tanan. Wala pa na ito nakuha si moisture. 80 na daan cc ang iya value. No? So, yung nga siya, guys, dito niyo yung libog-libogo ng inyong utok. Okay? Kung libogo ninyo yung inyong utok, mas samot nga makuha. Always go back to the to the equation or to the formula and then, ano sa iyang ipasabot? May mga particle, particle, particle na gito siya, ang soil na lang yun. No? Kung it's it's the material as a whole or a book, then appeal pa itong mga porosity. No? So, uh, always think of that. That's the technique on how you will attack the problems. Okay? Usually, mga students, may insi na din sa soil science, kaya mga problema na no, so, this is actually a review or a continuation of your soil science. But always remember what's the, the what's what's asked and what's uh, given. Okay? Another example. Uh, I don't know na pa eh. Solution number two. So, ano, uh, yeah, because the problem requires uh, depth uh, needed, no? Depth needed sa tubig. So, uh, ang formula ba ya sa depth needed is MCVF minus MCVI times D, no? Kung sa ganiyang CVF, uh, volume final, moisture content nga volume final, minus mo moisture content nga volume initial. And then, para daw mo increase to moisture content moisture content uh, nga volume to final, uh, initial, mag-add ka 30%. Then, mahimo siya nga 
Unsa man 1.3 times 0.25. Unsa man ang 0.25? Ang 0.25 is just the depth nga imong uh, needed, di ba? So na no no not the depth needed, the depth of root zone. All right? So the depth of root zone is 0.25. Therefore, 1.3 kay increase magag 30%. So 1.3 times 0.25 uh uh mao na ang imong uh MCBF minus MCBI and then uh, ang imong ang imong value sa D is uh, one feet ay one foot no so that's the value of your uh one foot sa soil content so that's the the as I tawag na, depth of root zone all right and then ang um, 130 times 1.25 25 minus 0.25 because you are trying to increase the the as it tawag ani volumetric water no so ang imong initial di ay nga moisture content di ba 0.25 di ba so but you are trying to increase so you need to multiply by point uh, ang imong moisture content volume a moisture content volume final by 1.30 ya yeah, minusan pag ini mo moisture content nga volume initial nga 0.25 and then times na pod sa depth ni mga 1 foot no so naa kay value nga 0.205 foot or 2.46 inches nga depth needed right because we have already established that uh, the 0.25 is your moisture content uh, volume initial okay so ingana ra ni mo siya pag solve pag ingana na anyway the formula is given naman siya Always remember what is available nga data or available nga uh, given nga, nga uh, value and then you can just uh, simply equate. Okay, another problem. <clears throat> Find the volume of irrigation water required to raise the moisture content of a medium soil from 12% to 22% dry weight basis on a 10 hectare farm in 24 hours. A dry sample weights 1.35 grams per cc. Uh, the root zone is 152.4 centimeters. So naakay uh soil na uh ang moisture content niya is 12 to 22% dry weight basis meaning uh ang iyang nang increase siya from uh 12 to 22% and then ang area imo is 10 hectare and then mag mag irrigate ka for 25 hours then a dry sample weights 135.35 grams per cc and then the root zone or d nga capital d That's 152.4. So do not, kung may kung kag-depth required, DN, or depth needed, DN, D nga gamay. Kung may kung kag-depth of road zone, uh, DR, DRZ, or simply D nga capital ang imong gamiton. Alright. How to solve? So ang basic formula, kung mag-follow lang ka, itong higingon ako sa imong SI nga naka, I mean, naka uh, M cube, naka meter squared ang area, then you just follow QT, AD, N. Pero kung mo follow kag naka hectares, naka uh, hours, unya, naka centimeter, then you, you use QT, 28, AD, N. Siya, ang iyang gibuhat diri ah, uh, iyang gi uh, follow ang SI, no? katong QT, AD, N. However, for example, sa value sa area, instead nga 10 hectare, gigamit niya is 100,000 square meter. Why? Because every square meter, there is 10,000 square... Uh, every hectare, there is 10,000 square meter. Am I right? Tama ko? Yes, every sir. hectare, there is 10,000 square meter. And then 10 hectare man, so you convert niya into 100,000 square meter just to follow the SI. So na nakay value nga, area is 100,000 square meter times the D, DN. Pero si DN... Uh, on saan mo pagkuha kang DN? Di ba ang formula ni DN kay uh, A uh, MCBF minus uh, uh, MCBI. Uh, I mean, MCBF minus MCBI times D. Di ba? Yung nga na pagkuha kang DN sa itong previous formula. Nara. No? So, that's the value of DN. Unless, if gihatag na niya si DN, umuingon siya nga, umuingon ang problem na Uh, find the the rate of irrigation if the the area is 10,000 uh, 10 hectares and then the the depth needed is kanang kanang 2 cm then you can equate automatically pero kay wa man niya gihatag si DN ikaw man daw ang mag-identify ang gihatag niya kay D, D man hinuon depth of root zone man ang gihatag which is the depth of root zone gamiton nimo para makuha kang DN 
But if given gani si depth of Brodson, guys, given po si depth needed na mag-irrigate ka, ayaw na pagkuha si DN. Kasi si DN automatic gihatag naman niya. Pero kung ang ihatag niya, depth of root zone lang, katong capital D, then you use the value, uh, the, the equation for DN para makuha ni mo si DN. Katong DN is equals to MCBF minus MCBI times D. Alright? So, yung mong sangkuhaon para ma-solve ni mo sa QT. Na naman kay 100,000 square meter na area, ang DN, ang formula is, imura siyang i-interpolate di ha, MCBF minus MCBI times D. Ang imong value sa D, pila gani? 1.524 meter. Gikan sa 152.4 centimeter. Kaya you are following now the SI. Okay? okay? Pero, kung sa gani si MCBF o MCBI, nihatag siya. Kaya ang iyang moisture content volume nag-increase from 12 to 22. Meaning, 22 ang imong initial, 12 na lang ang imong final. Okay? Ay, baligtad. Ah, 12 ang imong uh, initial, 22 ang imong final. Nag-gets? Kaya eh, nag-increase man siya from 12 to 22. No? So, initial ni mo si 12, final ni mo si 22. Then, you can you can use that in your equation. Meaning, 100,000 square meter as your value sa A times moisture content ni mga final which is 22 or 20, 0.22 kay percent man minus 0.12 or 12% times 1.524 meter. Because you are following the equation as QT equals ADN. Pero kung maggamit ka atong Q is equals to uh, QT is equals to 28 ADN guys, make sure na ang imong ang imong ang imong area gifollow lang yapri mo sa hectare and then ang imong uh, uh, depth of root zone gifollow lang yapri mo si uh, centimeter. All right? So ang kanilang siya nga pagka-solve is gi sayon ra mangud kayo to. Kay automatic ra man to. QT, QT equals to 28 ADN divided by 100 ba to or wala na. So kani gipakita lang to show nga how to solve the problem if what if ang choices diay dito kay naka M cube so imo siyang necessary nimo siya i-follow into SI. Okay? So the answer is 15,240 cubic meter nga uh, QT. It's not DN ha, it's QT. Wrong ning nakabutang diri nga DN. Dapat QT na kay si DN na solve naman nato diri si DN. So, ang value ni DN pila di ay dapat, guys. 0.22 minus 0.12 pila. 0.10 times 1.524. So, pila di ay si DN, guys. Dili na DN, ha? QT na. Nasa yung na di ako type. Pila dapat? Na calculator ninyo di, ha? 0.1524, sir. Okay. So, 0.22 minus 0.10 ay 12.10. Times 1.524. So, pila? 0.1524. Ang value ni DN. Okay. Pero ayaw, not necessary na si DN. Diha, ngayibutang pa ni mo. Nasayop lang na. So, kanto nga value, 0.524, 0.1524. Times na rin ni mo sa 100,000 square meters. So, that's the value of 15,200 cubic meters. So, nasayop lang na diha. Dapat QT na, di ha, ha? Dili na, DM. Okay? Questions? Questions sa akong ipang yaw, -yaw. Kung DM Kung DM na ang gihatag, sir, dili ang root zone, pwede na katunay 28 na. na ka. kung... Oo. Pero make sure po ka kung DM na ang gihatag niya kay nakameter, o, oh, ayo idritso. Kaya dapat sa dapat, CM. Oo. So, There's there's really something with the problem guys kay pang twist gid ng problem no pero kung ang gihatag sa problem is uh, for example basic gid nga problem nga mohatag siya mao ni ang moisture niya mao in terms of gram kanilang ang naka lang ani guys ano man ang 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 moisture content niya dire ang ipanghatag idiretso na niya into percent pero what if weight ayo gina idiretso ang weight ko hawat sa nimo ang iyang moisture content initial og moisture content final i know ah uh, Yeah, moisture content initial and final. No, na gets. Example, ang problem ganina sa pinakauna, di ba ang gihatag is uh, volume ni soil and then weight initial ni soil and then after drying, yung anak. So, kuhaw sa nimo ang moisture content, i-percent sa nimo siya before pa kadiha mag-input. Ang nakanindot lang ang problem sa number 3 is gihatag na niya ang naka-percent na gini moisture initial and final. So, you have to automatically. And then, gihatag niya si root zone. So, root zone is different from Uh, depth. Kaya si root zone, guys, mao to'y depth nga ikan sa root zone, padulong sa level sa tubig, umpila. 
Kung may kun kag depth needed required, uh, that's the I don't know. Si si root zone is gikan sa root padulong sa ilalom. Mao to ang imong i tubig. Mura man gud na siya gi-add. Kung nakay tanom, for example, nakay tanom, gikan sa root padulong sa ilalom, padulong sa ilalom nga yuta. That's the uh, root zone nga depth nga imong i-fill in. Pero kung ingon kag depth required, that's the depth gikan pud sa sa root sa tanom pa ibabaw. Kaya mo lang imong i-maintain nga tubig. Okay? So lahi si root zone ug lahi si depth needed. All right. Any questions? Any questions? No, no, sir. All right. So if you have no other questions, uh, I we will continue our topic next week. But I I, I guess the next topic is just uh, similar to the our topic now. So uh, we can somehow we can continue this. But let's see if uh, okay. So ato na lang ipadayon anyway. This is just 19 slides, Raman, and then uh, it's more on. Uh, soil moisture determination Raman Samsia. So we will just continue para another topic na lang punta sa next week. So the next week would be sir. Sorry. Na, na ba ko yung class? Karan nga time sir 4.30. Ah okay. So we will continue our class next week na lang. Alright. So on sa inyong class eh? Ko answer crop science. Ah okay. nag enroll ka crop science. Uh, sir. Okay. Sige sige. So we will have our class next week na lang. So, tiwaso na to ang kanto nga topic and then crop water requirement na dahil ta. Alright? So, thank you guys. If you have no other questions, then uh, that would be all for our uh, soil water relations na topic. Alright? See you next week. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.